everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and I'm a first time mom navigating motherhood during this crazy time while also introducing the concept of Montessori to my baby girl. In this video, we'll be taking a deeper dive into the first three play kits that Love Every offers and seeing if we can find the items individually in a more versatile and affordable fashion. So this is something you're interested in. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really helps my channel. Subscribe to my channel below for weekly videos on motherhood, childcare, and Montessori. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time that I upload. Now the reason I had chosen to purchase the items individually, other than obviously just trying to save some money, is also because the beauty of Montessori is following the child and following the child's pace of development. In purchasing something through a subscription box, you're essentially waiting for the items to arrive before you can introduce them, whether or not your child is ready for them. What I've been doing is actually researching milestones and Montessori activities based on Stella's age a few weeks or even months in advance and purchasing activities and items appropriately so that as soon as she displays any interest or the beginnings of developing a new skill, I introduce those items to her. If she's not ready, I take them away and introduce them again at a later time. That's worked really well for our family because not only am I finding items that are versatile, saving us money, but also allowing Stella to take full advantage of the Montessori activities that we do have. Love Every does produce quality items that do follow the Montessori principle. They're Montessori inspired, good quality items. So if you don't have the time or the interest in purchasing these things individually, it's still a great option to go with. However, I think with a little bit of time, you are able to get just more bang for your buck and really individualize your approach to Montessori with your child. And now without further ado, let's see what we can find. I've got my laptop in front of me and we're going to take a look at the play kits and see if we can find comparable or similar items online. What I'm trying to do is essentially find a combination of items that are going to encourage and stimulate the child in a similar way that the play kits are going to be doing. So we take a look at the first play kit. This is for weeks 0 to 12. We will notice a lot of black and white themes. So at first we've got this mobile that is two-sided. They've got the black and white on one side and the colors on the other. And they say this is good for diaper time. So obviously the point is that this mobile is something that is light and compact and you can move around with you easily to keep the baby occupied. Then they've got these standing card holders as well as the travel card holders. And I'll get to them in a second, but they also have the simple black and white sets and the complex black and white card sets. So with the card holders, I would even argue that they're not really necessary because if you're traveling somewhere with a baby, between zero and 12 weeks, they're not really able to hold and maneuver items that much anyway. So you're not giving them this card holder to hold, you're having it as a means to transport the cards for the baby. A Ziploc bag would work just as fine for that. Something like the standing card holder on the other hand, if you have anything at all in your house that stands up, be it a mirror, be it another book, there's other things that you can prop up the cards on. So I've got, for example, the Montessori mirror for Stella and I just put all of her cards up on that ledge there. So as she's looking at herself, she can also see the cards. So again, this is not something that's a necessity. It's nice to have, but a lot of the black and white card sets, as you'll see, actually come in a way that allows you to put them up for time and time. Next, we've got the black and white mints that are supposed to encourage your child to look at and explore their hands earlier. We've got a wooden book that again is in the black and white colors and the silicone rattle with removable ball that is also black and white. Uh, and of course they've got their play guide as well. So uh, again, we do see this theme of black and white because at this age, those are the colors that babies see. So everything that would stimulate them would have to be the high contrast black and white. The best mobile I could recommend is obviously the Montessori Minari mobile. This one is absolutely beautiful. It works with the wind. So if you have a slight breeze going through it, the glass ball moves and everything rotates based on that. You can get it for about $30 on Etsy. You can even make it yourself if you're handy. There's a lot of guides online of exactly how to measure it out. It's a very precise mobile. Uh, it's not one that you'll be able to move around, I'd say easily from crib to play mat to diaper change area. Although again, if you wanted to, that's something you could do. So the option that I actually went with was this kind of smaller mobile that can be attached in two different ways. It's got this handle that will allow you to attach it to a diaper changing table or you can also attach it to a stroller like this. And that's exactly how I use this mobile on the go actually. So they've got this in a black and white pattern with little pops of color 
or the one that I actually bought for Stella was this one with the lighter colors that on the underside of the paddles actually does still have the black and white. I found that she absolutely loved this because not only is it a nice mobile to look at, unlike the mobile that Love Every has, it also has a music box. So when we were taking walks, I would turn on the music and she loved listening to the songs. They're very gentle, very nice to listen to. And as she got older, because they're animals and they're rotating, it's more movement than just the static mobile, she was very interested in trying to bat at them. Which brings me to the point of discovering her hands. This was actually one of the things that helped her discover her hands faster, even though I did not purchase some kind of special gloves. But quickly, I will jump then into the gloves while we're on that topic. I gave Stella just regular scratch mittens that were in bright colors, like she had pink ones, she had white ones, she had gray ones, she had ones with designs that were high contrast but not black and white. And she was still very fascinated with looking at them and figuring out, oh, what is this? However, if you did want to go with the specific black and white mittens, here you've got ones on Etsy for about six, seven dollars. You have a lot of options on Amazon. One that I really like here is actually socks and something to put on their hands. And the reason I was looking at this one is actually because the five to six month play kit does have something to put on their feet to help them discover their feet. So for like 12, $13 here, you're getting kind of both items at once. For another mitten set here that is also high contrast and again, organic. So a similar quality to what Love Every has and it's four mints for $8. And you know, with babies, if they, once they do discover their hands, everything goes in their mouth. Before they discover their hands, they might be flying off, they might be spitting on them. So having an extra set is always good anyway. For $2 a pair, I'd say this is also a really great deal to get. And moving on to what I would say is the main item in this play kit would obviously be these black and white contrast cards that would be used for tummy time to help your baby develop their vision and also be encouraged to stay on their tummy, lift their head, work their neck muscles and just gain overall strength to get them ready eventually for rolling, crawling and walking. So the black and white cards, if you're purchasing any kind of play mat for your baby, I'd say most of them at this point come with black and white cards. Stella's definitely did. If you want more variety, then definitely there's a lot of options for you. One that I really like on Amazon is this one that has not only the regular black and white cards with simpler and more complex patterns, but then they move on to black and white with some bright colors like reds and yellows and then it moves into the full color cards that have interesting geometric shapes so these are cards that will be interesting all the way until your baby's three years of age and more so than that there are cards that you can use for a lot of montessori activities after that so you can use them for matching activities if you made copies of them you could use them to make three part cards even there's a lot of activities that you could utilize these for and these can really grow with your baby so if you wanted to invest in a nice set of cards, these would be great and they would last your baby far more than the Love Every cards. If you wanted to go with just something simpler, just some black and white pictures for your baby to look at during tummy time, something that you can take on the go. Like I said, a lot of the black and white cards right now are being offered in a way that they stand on their own anyway. So they've got a lot of these art cards or this one with a panda. Some of them already come with a little mirror some of them will stack up like this. For just about $13 to $20, you're able to get the complex, the simple, the black and white, something that stands, something that can easily be taken on the go. Another option that I really like is this high contrast crinkle book. And again, the reason it's great is not only was she interested in it when she was just a newborn looking at just the black and white, then as she started seeing colors, she was interested in the reds and the yellows. But now that she has full color vision, there's still colorful pages on here like this one. There's also crinkly sounds, there's a squeaker, and it's something that she loves putting in her mouth because there's just a lot of interesting things going on with this book. And like most baby books, it does have this little tag on the side so we can easily attach it to like a pacifier clip and clip it onto like our backpack when we're in the back of the car with her to make sure it doesn't just fall behind the car somewhere. And so moving on to, again, the wooden book. There are wooden books on Amazon that you can purchase. Montessori is all about the natural materials, the wooden items. But uh, when I was creating my set for Stella, I actually went with that black and white crinkle book as the book item for the set. There are still some nice wood books out there that you can purchase on Amazon. 
These ones are colorful as opposed to being black and white. But again, I was trying to create something that was going to challenge Stella in a similar way that the box would. And my thinking was black and white book. I got her the crinkle book because looking forward, actually, the next item that you will be getting will be a crinkle bag. So for me, that crinkle book had all three of those items. It was colorful, it was high contrast, it was crinkly, and it was a book. But if you wanted to get a wooden book specifically, here's a nice one you can get for $13. And the final item they've got here is the silicone rattle with a removable ball. So the skill that this helps perfect is grasping and also tracking objects as they're moving. Eventually their teeth start coming in and they want to put everything in their mouth. So I was looking for a rattle that could also be used as a teether. It is also black and white. It makes a nice sound, but it's also a teether and will be useful for the child as they grow out of that black and white grasping state. So again, with the looker kit, what we're really trying to encourage is for baby to focus on things. We're trying to give them black and white items to look at, to encourage to attract objects with their eyes and maybe start reaching out for things. So to quickly go over again what was in the Love Every, there's a mobile, there's black and white cards as well as stand up and travel holders. There is mittens, a book, and a rattle. So a sample that I would put together to achieve the same results with at-home items would be this mobile that's on the go for $25. Then I would actually use this book to cover the basis of the simple and white cards, the travel holder, the book, and the stand-up holder because this book does stand up really nicely on its own. You're getting all that just for $13 here. This I would use for the rattle for $9. I would either go with this pack of the four sets of gloves for $8 or I would consider uh, this one which is a bit more colorful than a lot of the Montessori natural materials but they are again high contrast bright colors to encourage looking at both the hands and the feet. And with this again you're getting something that's essentially a two for one because one of the items that is in the five to six month play kit will be socks for the baby to find their feet. So with this, we can calculate, for example, $6 going towards the gloves and the other six or seven going towards the socks. So with this combination, you're able to essentially give your baby the same stimulation that it would get from this box for about $54. That's about $20 savings you would have in creating this kind of kit by yourself. And I would argue that you're getting more bang for your buck because that mobile is going to last you far longer than the simple Love Every mobile. You can take it with you in strollers. It has the nice music box. You're also getting the crinkly book, which is going to move with your baby into their next stage past the 12 weeks. And with the extra $20 you have, if you wanted to, you could actually invest into these cards here that again, like we said, would last you far into the toddler ages, into the three years old, and you could probably even stretch them into the toddler Montessori stage. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up as it definitely helps me out. Subscribe to my channel below for weekly videos and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. Let me know in the comments below if you subscribe to any of the Montessori or STEM subscription boxes and what your experience has been or if you're choosing to purchase the items individually and how that's going for you. And until next time, I hope you stay safe.